welcome to another video. We are cooking, if you didn't notice. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is preheat the oven. We're gonna preheat the oven to 350 for this recipe. Are you ready to find out what we're gonna make as our main dish? Stuffing chicken casserole. I found this recipe on Pinterest. It sounded amazing. I wanted yummy things to eat. It says you need two pounds of boneless chicken breast. Now, they want it to be diced and they want it in the bottom of the pan. However, I am not gonna do that because I have chicken right here and it is actually shredded. I'm just gonna dump the shredded chicken on the bottom. Not as much as it says or calls for, but it is what I have. You know what I always say, use what you have. Now, after that, what we need is whisk some milk and cream of chicken into this right here. It's not very much milk. I believe it's, it's one fourth cup of milk. I need to say that before I started recording, I started chopping onions because I am going to just throw some vegetables on a sheet and roast some veggies. And I really, I don't know about you guys, let me know in the comments, but I love so much to have onions roasted. So I added the two cans. Now we're gonna add one fourth cup of milk. We're gonna take our spoon, just mix all of this together. This is probably the easiest and fastest recipe ever. You're basically gonna watch this and be like, wow, two minutes of you stirring things. We are gonna pour this over the top and just spread it out evenly. I got my stuffing mix. I believe this is from Aldi. I don't know about you guys, but I love stuffing. Do you love stuffing? You guys, I'm, all, I'm almost done. Throwing things everywhere. It's not a big deal. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is messy. <laughs> Everything's falling. It's fine. If you don't know my trash cans over there, that's why I keep going over there. I'm not just like, ooh, what's over there? Let me check it out. And I'm also not just like throwing things on the floor. Last ingredient. A cup and a half of chicken broth. You just take this cup and a half of chicken broth and you pour it over the top. My favorite thing is that it says, it says pour it evenly as if I will know how even this is. So I'm gonna do my best to pour it evenly. That was a cup. I'm gonna get half a cup. Half a cup is good. Guys, this looks amazing. You know what time it is now? Foil time. I'm gonna cover this with foil. If I can get the foil. Okay, yep. Perfect. We're gonna put it in the oven. It says 40 to 45 minutes or until chicken is done, but our chicken is already cooked, so we will see. So I already have my pan for our veggies over here. I'm not gonna show you me roasting vegetables for the millionth time because it is what it is. You've seen it a ton. So I'm just gonna throw the veggies on. I'm gonna wait a few minutes, throw that in and we will be good to go. So I'll let you know how it all turns out. Okay, the big reveal. Ooh. Don't burn my hand, don't burn my hand. Woo! Ooh. I ended up I ended up doing it actually for about 30 minutes and there's some veggies. Okay, tonight, meaning 1.30 p.m. <laughs> I'm going to make buffalo stuffed sweet potatoes buffalo chicken stuffed sweet potatoes, something like that. Before I could do anything, I had to wash the sweet potatoes, so they are all washed. So what I'm gonna do is stab them a little, you know, get them all prepped. I got the loud foil here, because we are going to bake these. Let's preheat the oven, that's probably a smart idea. To 400. Okay, so on this recipe, it just says to do this. So what I'm gonna do is Put a little olive oil, wrap these up. I'm just going to do four potatoes because there's two of us. Okay, put these bad boys in the oven for um, probably about 40 minutes. If you're like, Delaine, the oven's not preheated. You're right, it's not yet. But that doesn't stop me from putting things in the oven. Does it stop you? Forty minutes. See you soon. We're gonna make the sauce that goes on the chicken. I already have 
a bag of pre-cooked chicken and that's what I'm gonna use because I don't want to make chicken. Let's see what it says. Three tablespoons mayonnaise. Whoa. Get a load of this. What a weird thing for me to say. So we used this Frank's hot sauce in a challenge video on our other channel of ranking spicy like hot sauces and we did not like it that much. So let's see if I can open it. I was going to just do it out the little do it out the top, but I can't do it out the top because I can, but it'll take forever. The measurement specifically, you ready for this? You ready for the specific measurements of this? Half a cup of this plus one tablespoon. Guys, I thought I opened, oh my gosh, I can't open anything in this video. Did it. I thought I opened the ranch. I did not. Now we need a tablespoon of ranch. This isn't healthy, I don't know what is. A half teaspoon of garlic powder and a half teaspoon of salt. That's half teaspoon of both of them. How am I so amazing? Woo! Get in my, get in my eyes. It's not expecting that. So I'm gonna stir this up and I'm gonna put it in the fridge. I'm not actually gonna put it on the chicken yet. And then when the potatoes are done, I'm gonna put it on the chicken, mix it all up, and then we'll be ready to eat. Sweet potatoes are done. Chicken is done. We're gonna get some garnish. Oh my gosh, what is happening with this knife? You guys, I don't, can you even see that I'm chopping this? I need to sharpen my knives. Anybody else, do you need to sharpen your knives? Here's a reminder. We're gonna take our meat and cube it. I think you could use shredded chicken or cubed chicken. I don't think it really matters. All the chicken is cut up. I'm gonna open up the sauce. Wow, this is gonna be very saucy. My potatoes are definitely getting cooler than they were. Cooler. I'm not getting cooler. I'm getting older and less cool. Ooh, look at that chicken. Okay, take your little potato. P -p 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 Pup, pup, pup. Oh, I'm burning my hands a lot. Stop laughing back there. <laughs> okay, take your potato, squish it. There we go, look at the little potato boat. Yum, so this is actually our lunch. If this was dinner, I think I would put a lot more with this. <gasps> like some vegetables. All right, that looks delicious. I'm gonna take some green onion and I'm gonna show you this up close. There we go, our yummy potato. So excited. Hello friends. So today we are making something really easy as usual. I don't normally wear my glasses because it kind of gives it a glare. So I apologize. We are going to make, oh, this looks so good. Some pesto chicken pull apart sliders. This is for lunch. So it's perfect. You know when you find those recipes on Pinterest and you're like, oh my gosh, this is great. This is a great idea. We should definitely do this. And then it's like, put it in the oven, but it doesn't tell you for how long. That's sort of what's happening right now. Just trying to figure out how long this goes. It just says 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, right, 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 cool. They want you to make your own rolls, but I'm not doing that. Easy peasy, yesterday I did one that I was doing for lunch. I'm sure that you guys know all the traditional sliders that are amazing and delicious. That's essentially what we're making. Wow, wow, wow. Stuck. Cool, it just wants to be really stuck. So I just used the Hawaiian sweet rolls. Gonna take my giant bread knife. You guys, I am, I didn't think this through whatsoever. Not even a little bit of how I was gonna easily cut it this way. So just cut it in half. You know how to cut things, I'm assuming if you're watching this. I remember when I would see people make these and I was like, do they individually cut? All of these okay put your little guys in the middle then let's see what it tells me to do cut 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 oh we're gonna take some pesto you guys I don't think I've ever cooked with pesto a fourth cup of this let's see if I can even open it let's be honest probably not I did it Ooh, pesto is yummy. I'm measuring are people proud of me are you proud of this girl measuring things spread that pesto on wow pesto is so 
so strong. I like that I just have a rotisserie chicken sitting here and you're like, cool rotisserie chicken. I'm just gonna sort of shred it, put it all on. It's gonna take forever. This is my foolproof method. You just take the chicken out and just break it you just rip it apart people it's so easy to do mozzarella cheese mmm yummy cover it in mozza <laughs> I don't even know what do we do next we put the top on now we are going to take some butter two tablespoons of butter I gotta melt it all right and then we need some dried parsley and garlic salt so we need a teaspoon of parsley and then we need a half teaspoon of garlic salt i'm gonna mix it around Ooh, mix it we're just gonna baste these we're gonna baste them all right i'm gonna put foil on this and bake it for about 15 minutes there we have it easy 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 lunch may not look super pretty but smells super delicious